Rabbi Eli, uh, we yes. believe that once the two sides, uh, the sons of Ishra, uh, Ishmael and the sons of Israel, that uh, believe in the same God, and uh, as you know, turn to their religion, uh, which teach them to, de to be loving and compassionate towards each other. Uh, they will be able to get over the uh, animosity and embrace, embrace each other as brothers and sisters, because it's a command of God. Uh, what do you think can be done to awake uh, the both sides to this reality? And uh, what can be done to encourage people to turn back to their roots, uh, their religion to put an end uh, to all that suffering? Well, uh, of course, uh, first and foremost, we ought to go to the documents, the original documents, the Bible itself, that speaks about Ishmael and speaks about Isaac, Ishaq. And uh, we see very clearly that even though they, uh, at the beginning, uh, as they were children, they played together, they uh, lived together, they were brothers, uh, as they were. Uh, eventually, as they grew older, each one went his own way. However, when Abraham, their father, passed away, they all came back together. The verse says that, uh, that Abraham was buried by Isaac and Ishmael, his children. And we are told by our sages that that reunited them together in brotherhood and, and brotherly love. Uh, and, and eventually they lived, they lived at peace for, for centuries and millennia. Yes. Um, so there is no question that, uh, at least uh, biblically speaking, uh, that is possible. And it will be possible again only if both sides uh, agree and admit that uh, each one uh, uh, is yet another son of Abraham and we all uh, believe in the same God, we are the Abrahamic religions and uh, we have to basically respect each other, we have to recognize the existence of each other, we have to uh, help each other's existence, to help each other survive and thrive because only in unity we can really succeed. Only in unity we can be blessed. Only in unity we can really maintain those values and traditions and principles of our forefather Abraham. Uh, but we, again, we really need to respect each other. We really need to, to feel for the other person's pain and for the other person's need. Uh, Israel and the Jewish people have a very, very small, very small piece of land. Very small piece of land, the size of the state of New Jersey uh, in the United States, if you know that size. It's yes. so small that if you compare it to the lands that uh, the Arab have and Muslim uh, religion has, it's uh, almost a dot. It's, it's a dot in an ocean. Uh, which we are very happy for the Arabs and the Muslims to have all those lands that, as, that God gave it to them. But also we would need them to, uh, to accept and, 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 and agree that also God gave us that small piece of land that we need to live in peace, tranquility, prosperity. Uh, there is a very interesting article written by Abdul Latif al Mulham, who was a retired Commodore, the rank of Commodore of the Royal Saudi Navy. Uh, he writes regularly in, for Arab news. He wrote, uh, 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 lastly, uh, in October 6, 2012, an article about uh, the relationship between the uh, Arab world and, and Israel, uh, and also all the, what's happening in the Arab, so-called Arab Spring. I think it uh, would be very interesting to publicize this article more and to make it known to, uh, to, uh, to, to, all, to the entire world. He says very clearly that uh, with the technological advance, economical advance, uh, agricultural advance that Israel has, if uh, the Arabs and Israel or the Muslims and Israel uh, hold hand uh, together and develop that entire uh, Middle East area, North Africa, it will be uh, uh, better than Europe. It will be better than the United States. It would be a region that there is uh, love, uh, help, success, financial success. Uh, the desert will turn into uh, blooming fields, as Israel has turned. Uh, technological advances uh, will, will be uh, permeate the entire region. As you know, Israel has uh, one of the, is the second country after the United States that has startup uh, uh, companies in, in, in computer technology. Um, so uh, there's so much that we can do together 
intellectually, educationally, even religiously. The word sharia, sharia itself, uh, uh, can be understood of coming from the word sharia, sharia, which means a, a, a way, a path. And that's the same word that we use in Jewish law. We call it halakha. Halakha is to go, lalechet. You go on a street, you go on a path, on a way. We have so many things in common, uh, religiously, intellectually, educationally, yes. even physiologically. We look alike. We come from the same father. Uh, so I definitely feel it's about time that we should become, uh, uh, we have peace together, work together, and live, live uh, happily ever after. Yes, you definitely. are definitely right, and we uh, also think the same, and we believe that allying our forces for good, uh, for stopping the hate propaganda, uh, so common especially in the Middle East, is our duty. Uh, therefore, we believe that we have to be engaged, uh, as you said, in an intellectual campaign against all harmful ideologies uh, that fuel radical radicalism. Uh, and we believe that this way we can bring love, peace and brotherhood to uh, the region and then to the entire world. Inshallah. Yes. Inshallah. Inshallah.